wish I'd have done this while you were here so you could see the magic of the Instant Pot. It's, uh, what is this, Tuesday morning, and uh, I'm going to make corned beef hash. It's about 10 o'clock, but we don't usually eat till about 11.30 or 12 or something like that. But I'm going to make corned beef hash, and I want to show you this. I've got the Instant Pot out. It's all plugged in. That's the Instant Pot. I have the uh, six-quart one. I've got a corned beef brisket right here. Just a uh, regular, I've already taken it out of the package, but you want to get a regular corned beef brisket. Uh, it doesn't matter what cut, it's really, really good. You're gonna make corned beef hash. And uh, got the brisket in the Instant Pot. Put the trivet in there. Got the brisket in the Instant Pot. I already did a little minced garlic. And there's a seasoning packet that always comes with the corned beef hash. Looks like this, okay. So I'm gonna sprinkling the uh, seasoning packet over the top of this, get it all in there. Really good. And then you're gonna to wanna to add your liquid. I added about, uh, oh, about four cups of beef broth in there. Got that, but then the very last ingredient, uh-oh, what's that noise? Very last ingredient, you wanna add four of the beer in there. No matter what kind of beer, beer in there. You want about four cups of liquid in there with the, uh, with the, uh, the um, brisket. Okay, and then we're gonna take the lid to the Instant Pot. We put that baby on there and turn it until it goes, makes its little sound. Let's hear that again. There, you know that it's on. So it's sealed right now, it's not sealed, but the lid is on. And then you're gonna go to pressure cook. And you're gonna do it high, and you're gonna do it for 90 minutes, okay? And then it's going to, it takes about 10, 15 minutes for the liquid to heat up. Okay, and then it's gonna start the magic, and I'll be back. Oh, it's on and ready to go. So as the Instant Pot heats up, you see that it's on, it's not going yet, but as it heats up and builds up pressure, that little silver tab right there, that little chrome, whatever that is, stainless steel, that little tab right there will begin to move as it's building up pressure. You can see the steam coming out. We'll watch it for a second. that little tab pops up because of the pressure, there it goes. So as it pops up like that and the steam stops coming out, that means the pressure is building and it's sealed, the little lid is sealed. You want to make sure you never try and take that lid off. You never want to try and take the lid off when that, that pressure button is up because that's where all the magic is happening and that's a lot of pressure. And you see that it still says on, but any second now it's going to go to the time. Okay, so it's clicked over to the time. That means the pressure is going, the lid is sealed, and the magic is happening inside. We'll be back here in 90 minutes. Okay, so this baby's been cooking about 90 minutes. We only got about a minute left, actually 30 seconds, because I just started. But uh, we're gonna show you what to do after this. Any second now, this is gonna click over to uh, done. It's gonna beep, let me know it's done. There we go. So now it is done pressure cooking. There's a couple different kinds of release, steam release on this. And of course, you don't want to try to open that lid while it's, uh, you know, while it's under pressure. Under pressure. Okay, so um, what we're going to do, we're going to let this naturally release. Now there's a function here where you can instantly release it, release the steam, and it goes everywhere. I have, of course, my, uh, my little dragon that goes on there to uh, divert the steam elsewhere. But what we're going to do is we're going to naturally let this naturally release for about 10 minutes, okay? And what this is going to happen, this is going to count down, this is going to count down here about 10 minutes. And uh, then we're going to release the rest of the steam and the rest of the pressure. And I'll be back. So while the steam is releasing in the, the uh, Instant Pot, we're going to peel some potatoes for the corned beef hash. All right. Pressure. Potatoes are peeled. It's been on a natural release for 10 minutes now. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to take our little diverter here because the reason I use this is because that steam comes out of there and it goes straight up and I don't want it going into the cabinet or like that. So what I do is I divert it by putting the little dragon on here. Like that. So the steam is going, you know, kind of that way as opposed to straight up. And oh my gosh, I wish you could smell this. The smell of that corned beef smells so good coming out of there. We're going to do the rest of this uh, release. Okay, there we go. Now it's safe to open the lid. So what we're going to do is I'm going to remove Draggy McSteam butt here. Stick him off to the side. And we are going to, let me zoom out on this. We're going to open the lid. There is our brisket inside. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that brisket out, we're gonna let it rest, but don't toss out that liquid because the taters go in there. And I'll be right back. There's our brisket. Let's check it out. It should be just fork tender. And it is. Nice. So that's gonna chop up really good for the, for the corned beef hash. Try a little down here. Can't help myself. No corned beef. Gotta have a little tasty taste. Mmm. Good ain't be good. It's gonna get even better. Got the potatoes cut up. You don't want to make little pieces. It's just kind of quarter them and then put it in to the liquid. Now, if you're making corned beef and cabbage with carrots and all that for St. Patty's Day, this is also a good time to put in your carrots and your cabbage. But we're just doing corned beef, so it's just the potatoes in there. So we don't want to close the lid, listen to that sound. Okay, and we're gonna pressure cook this on high for just five minutes. So let's turn this baby down. So that's just potatoes and broth in there. That broth is some nice tasting stuff too. You can save that later and cook some other goodies in it. So we're gonna get this down to five minutes and we'll be back. While the potatoes are cooking in the Instant Pot, I chopped up the uh, corned beef. And you can, you can chop it up. I like to chop it up so you have some like chunky pieces in there. You can also put it in a food processor and do it that way too. Then you have a much you know, thinner, finer chopped up mass of corned beef, but I like to just chop it up. You're gonna find little bits of fat in there. Of course it is corned beef, so you can find little bits of fat in there. You can take those out if you want, but fat is flavor. So what I like to do is I like to leave those in there because when I fry this up with the potatoes, it's gonna render down and it is so good. Okay, Instant Pot is telling me that the taters are done. So we're gonna do a quick release on this. I'm gonna go back to Dragon McSteam butt, and we're gonna do a quick release. Okay, so I have the chopped up potatoes in with the chopped up corned beef. I took a little bit of the broth from the uh, Instant Pot there. I like to Add it in here for a little bit of moisture. Those potatoes soak up the flavor of the broth so good when they're cooked in the Instant Pot like that. And it just tastes so good. So you just put your chopped potatoes in there, kind of do the proportions right. I had some leftover potatoes, but I'm gonna save those and cook them with some bell peppers and what have you. You don't want, want to make it too potatoey, or you can if you want, but you don't want to you know, over flavor that beautiful corned beef. So what you're gonna do is you can fry this uh, fry it in some hot olive oil uh, until it's brown and crispy on both sides. Serve it with some eggs or pancakes or whatever you like. I like to make breakfast burritos with it. Scrambled eggs and cheese, a little salsa verde. Mmm, it's good, ain't be good. Well, there you go, corned beef hash in the Instant Pot. It's real simple, real quick, and real, real good. It's got me under pressure.